Today we're gonna dye this carpet black. I already vacuumed it and used my cheap little steam extractor to clean it up. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. Um, it's kind of this dark charcoal color right now, but we're gonna dye it black. So I'll get the dye mixed up and then go over the process. All right, so I've got this uh, one gallon pump sprayer with just under a gallon of water, hot water in it. Um, the black writ dye. And then I've got one cup, it looks like more because of the way it's sitting on the bumper. I measured it on level ground, but uh, one cup of white vinegar. So then we'll just mix all this together. Uh, on the die, it says to shake well before you add it in there. So I did shake the bottle up for a few minutes before I did that. And then we'll just add the vinegar. Uh, the vinegar is supposed to be almost like a bonding agent. So that's why you're supposed to add it. Um, and it says on the package, like, um, what you're supposed to add. So if you just read the back of your label on the RIT die, it'll also tell you to do these things. So we'll put the lid on the pump sprayer and shake it up real well, and then we'll be ready to start dying. All right, so the way that I do this is, I'll just kind of show you out in the open here, is I just spray the dye in and then scrub it with a scrub brush, something like this, just to get it down into the fibers of that carpet. So it has a nice even color whenever it's done. But um, I'm going to start at the front and work my way back so I don't get covered in this stuff. So this is after a second application. The second go around, I mixed up another gallon, but I used a container and a half of the dye and the same amount of vinegar and hot water as before. Um, yeah, it's quite a bit darker than it was whenever we started. It's kind of hard to tell just because of these bright lights are shining on it. The back still looks pretty light, but... Um, and then we've got all the brush strokes from brushing that dye in. But this really helps to get rid of any discoloration and staining that you've acquired over the years. Like this is a 20 year old truck with almost 200,000 miles on it. So the carpet was looking pretty aged and uh, it's just a good way to help clean it up. This particular truck, I'm gonna have floor liners in it that match my seat covers. So I don't know that this is even necessary, but I thought if I ever went to pull 
the floor liners out and go back to like a traditional carpeted floor mat that it would be nice to have some decent looking carpet too um yeah we'll check back in a couple of days like i said it's supposed to be 100 plus degrees the next few days so we'll see after this is dry how it all turned out all right well uh this is with the carpet all done as you can tell it's quite a bit darker than what it was um in the video it looks lighter on those high spots but that's just the video i think the way that the light's coming into the truck but way darker looks way better got rid of a lot of the staining and stuff that you could see before just covered that up made it look a lot more uniform but yeah that's the end result of dyeing the carpet black